Welcome to another edition of the Sports Block. We are live here at Middle Creek High School for tonight's matchup between the Lady Mustangs of Middle Creek and the Catamounts of Panther Creek. A little battle of the Creeks here. Uh, you know, pretty even coming in tonight's game. Uh, Panther Creek is 11 and 8 overall and 6 and 6 in conference, and they hold the fifth spot. Middle Creek is 12 and 7 overall and 7 and 4 in conference, holding the third spot. I'm Kevin Brunson. I'll be running play-by-play. -play. Join with Matt Verderosa and Brian Hughes. Real quick, we get the tip off. Pretty, uh, pretty good height for Panther Creek tonight. Number 30. You know, at least what do you say, six four, six five? Yeah, at least six four. I'm easily gonna take the tip off. Panther Creek controls the ball early. Quickly get it down low to number 30, trying to use the height for the advantage for the Catamounts. Middle Creek gets it down court, shot no good. Blocked by number 25 for Panther Creek. Kimmy Pittman will look to inbound. Sydney Smith with the ball down low, stolen by the Catamounts. And as you'll see here tonight, number three, Justice White from Middle Creek is wearing a mask. She broke her nose last game against Carey. Unfortunately, her own teammate, Sydney Smith, came down with an elbow on her. So we'll see if uh, the mask you know, messes up anything with her shot. I really don't think it will. Shot no good by the Catamounts. Middle Creek looks to run up the floor. Betsy Dorr gets it. Jump shot, no good. Rebounded by Panther Creek. Reverse layup, no good. Justice White flips to the pass, gets it to Octiana Miller. Finding Sidney Smith in the high post. She's gonna kick it back out to Miller, setting up the offense. Really gotta move the ball there in the high post, can't hold it. A lot of bodies around her. And so far, it really looks like Middle Creek's just trying for a pass and cut play. Um, just a simple play they drew up. So far, you know, Panther Creek's really uh, playing good defense against that. Smith finds door down low, puts up a hook shot, no good. Rebounded by White, and a jump ball is going to be called. Possession arrow points to the Mustangs. White with the pump fake, drives in, gets a shot blocked. Sydney Smith down low, and we're gonna need a jump ball. Just gonna turn the ball over to the Catamounts. And Justice White is going to stay down low. Really so, tough defense shown by both teams so far. The scoreboard's really showing it. No score. Three minutes into the game. Foul on the drive. 
Foul's going to be on number three, Justice White. Her first. Another turnover by Panther Creek. Sydney Smith will inbound. Another foul called on the fast break. Number 30, Altiana Miller, called for her first. Shooter's touch on the free throw. Both shots good. Panther Creek up two to nothing. Five minutes left in the first quarter. Good screen by Betsy Dora opening a lane for Miller. Shot no good. Catamounts get it down low. Justice White saves the ball. Thought Middle Creek was going to look to run in the fast break. Miller pulls back out. Smith with the ball down low. Rejected by number 30 using her size. Jump ball called. Middle Creek still has possession. I really think time of possession tonight is going to be a, a big issue for the Catamounts so far. Middle Creek's really controlled the ball. Um, you know, a few times, Panther Creek just working down low. They've really got the size advantage uh, tonight. But, you know, time of possession is just always a big issue. Mustang's just working the ball around the perimeter. Catamount's going to stay with the Mustangs. Miller spots up for three. No good. Rebounded by Sidney Smith. Puts it back up. No good. White looks to drive. Blocked by number 25. A foul is going to be called on number three, Justice White, her second. It's obvious that Panther Creek has a size advantage in this game, but Middle Creek is playing with a lot more aggression in general, and that's what's evening it out right now. by the Mustangs. Ball out of bounds, tipped off. Panther Creek is going to stay underneath with Middle Creek. Foul on the Catamounts, two shots. Sydney Smith's first shot is good. That'll be the first point for the Mustangs. Another 
turnover for the Catamounts. Miller tried to find Dewar cutting just out of her hands. Ball goes out of bounds. No Creek playing very aggressively on the defensive end tonight. Pittman spots up for a 15-foot jumper. It's good. Panther Creek racking up the offensive rebounds. Finally, a foul is called underneath. Number 15, Sydney Smith called for the foul. Sydney Smith coming away at the rebound and getting it to McCrimmon. Looks to run. Really thought uh, Door was going to spot up for three on that. Smith's shot is blocked once again by number 25. Fast break layup, good. Putting Panther Creek up one with a minute left in the first quarter. Foul called on number two for the Catamounts. Same jump shot she just hit, feeling hot from the spot. She's gonna take it again and make it. Yeah. Foul on number 15, Sydney Smith, her second. Holly Heights gonna check in for her. Rebound by number 12, cleans up the mess. Panther Creek still holding a one point lead. Pittman finds McCrimmon cutting. Great vision.
Shot no good. Great rebound by Holly Height. Shot at the buzzer. No good. Middle Creek still holds a one point lead, eight to seven, over the Catamounts of Panther Creek. So we're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Sports Block. We'll be right back. Middle Creek leads 8-7 to seven over Panther Creek. You know, the real style of offense for Panther Creek so far has just been work the ball down low to uh, either 30 or 25. And um, you know, offensive rebounds have really been uh, big so far. Panther Creek coming away with some huge rebounds, giving them more shot opportunities. And with the taller girls down in the paint for, uh, for Panther Creek, the only way Middle Creek's been able to score so far in this game is by taking shots on the perimeter. A three-second call on Panther Creek. Yet again, another turnover. Yet another turnover for Middle Creek. Panther Creek pushes it up. Good touch pass down low to 30. Getting her first bucket of the game. Nice interception by Pittman right there. It's going to be a Middle Creek ball. Substitution for the Mustangs. Number three, Justice White checks in for Holly Height, number 11. Spots up at the top of the key. No good. Rebounded by Doerr. Goes up. Shot no good. Offensive rebound by Justice White. The middle Creek will start up the offense again. <laughs> middle Creek's working the ball around very well. Working for the uh, the best shot. It's really tough for them to get down low because all the tall girls for Panther Creek. The height of Panther Creek has really been a contributing factor in all the turnovers they cost tonight. The Middle Creek can't get down low. They have to shoot all the perimeter shots and look for the best passes. An offensive timeout. Offensive foul will cause a timeout by Coach Petty. 
So we're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Sports Block. We'll be right back. Five and a half minutes left in the first half. Panther Creek, nine. Middle Creek, eight. Very low scoring game so far. Very defensive battle uh, in the game. Panther Creek using the size just to you know, prevent anything down low for Middle Creek. So they're going to have to work out. We see uh, Pittman hitting two big shots, 15 foot jumpers. She's, she's, uh, you know, she's doing very well. She's a down low player, so she's, uh, you know converting her style of play tonight. Jump shot by the Catamounts is good. Ball's gonna go out of bounds. Panther Creek will take possession. And a backcourt violation. Turn the ball right back to Middle Creek. Door cuts and miss the layup. Foul on number three, Justice White. It's going to be her third. First shot, no good. Sydney Smith's going to check in for Justice White. Second shot good, pushing the Catamounts lead to two. Off Betsy Door. Altiana Miller checks in for Ayana Lee. Pentakeek <laughs> puts up another score down low. Forcing passes down low. You know, they really need to stay composed and find the best pass. That was going to be on number 10, Betsy Doerr. The 
Middle Creek has 18 fouls. So Panther Creek will be shooting one and one. First shot, no good. Holly Heights gonna check in for Kimmy Pittman. They look to run. Three from the corner, no good. Offensive foul, number 15. And 25, excuse me. Locked. The presence in the paint is definitely the strength of Panther Creek's team. Strong defense and offense in the paint. Sidestepping the defense. Holly Height, the triple team block. Foul called on number 15, Sydney Smith. No good. Second shot, good. Panther Creek 15, Middle Creek 10, a minute and 40 left in the first half. Spots up, jump shot, no good. Rebounded by Miller. Finish the play. Three by Panther Creek, no good. 16 seconds left. Betsy Dora looks to push it up the floor. Getting into Shank. And Holly Height with a good offensive rebound.
with that buzzer. We're going into halftime. Middle Creek down three. We're going to take a break. You're watching the Sports Block, and we'll be right back.
and we're back at the start of the second half tonight. Panther Creek leads 15 to 12. Good cut by Altiana Miller. Wide open down low for a good layup. Some local sports news, the Carolina Hurricanes are up 1-0 over the Ottawa Senators at the end of the first period. Eric Stahl with the goal for the Hurricanes. Seems to be a controversial call on the court. Not really sure what's going on down there. Looked like a clean call. Door tried to find Pittman. Just a little miscommunicated pass. Foul on Pittman. It's gonna be two points for the, or sorry, two shots for the Catamounts. First shot, no good. Out of bounds by Holly Height. We have an outrageous score from the Pack Six with uh, the Hillside <laughs> beating Person 117 to 16. The Hornets won that game by 101 points. I think that might be a record. I'm not sure, but I'll check. Seventeen, sixteen. 16 <laughs> and they just missed it. Move, 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 Lee County is beating Cary High School by three with a score of 31 to 28. Take a timeout. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Sports Block. We'll be right back.
And we're back with Panther Creek on a little bit of a run as they go up 23 to 16 on the Mustangs. Good in transition. <laughs> Foul called down low, number 30. Another boys basketball showdown. The Joy 9 has Green Hope beating Fuquay Barino 19-9 at the end of the first quarter. Also at the end of the first quarter, Athens Drive is beating Apex One more try nine update. At halftime, Athens Drive is down by two against Apex, 26 to 24. First free throw is no good. Second shot and good. Great interception right there by Panther Creek. <laughs> Ashley Schink for three, just off the rim. Travel called on Panther Creek. Fans are really getting into it here tonight, especially Panther Creek fans. Betsy Doer. Shot by the Catamounts. And broke the ball down low to number 30. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching the Sports Talk. We'll be right back.
Thunder. And we're back with Panther Creek taking a commanding lead, 31 to 16. Miller getting down low, getting your layup to go. Substitution, Ayan Ali. Come in for number 10, Betsy Dewar. She has four fouls. Herman. She goes down and gets a good layup. Another score update in the realm of boys basketball. We got Green Hope leading Fuquay Arena 32 to 19 at the half. Foul number 15, Sydney Smith. The basket will count. by number 30. Panther Creek up 10. Kremen with a good baseline jumper. And now Middle Creek starting to find the hoop in the shots to fall. And a travel called number 12. And Middle Creek right back into this game. with a pull-up jumper. Good. Rebound by Pittman. McCrimmon. Crimmon goes up for a shot and gets fouled. Number 31 for the Catamounts. First shot finds nothing but twine. Middle Creek is on a little run for themselves, scoring eight straight points with 49.1 seconds left in the third quarter.
timeout taken by Panther Creek. So we're gonna take a quick break. They're watching the sports block. We'll be right back. Down four with 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Had a big run, created a comeback. The ball's gonna go out of bounds on number 30 for Panther Creek, giving Middle Creek the ball with 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Shink dumps the ball down low to Miller gets a shot blocked. Shot good, down to 25. Ollie's three pointer, no good. Middle Creek. 31, Panther Creek 37. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Back with the start of the fourth quarter, eight minutes left in the game. Middle Creek down by six, 31 to 37. They're you know on a bit of a run, so anything can happen. Coach Petty looking for a back court violation. Number 30 gets a good open layup. You know, keep in mind, Middle Creek was down 32 to 16 and fought their way back. Ball's going to go out of bounds on number two for Panther Creek. Spots up for three. Shot no good. Baseline jumper is good for number 30. And Miller with her foot on the line. And a creditor for two. Good defensive stand by the Mustangs. Pittman with a baseline jumper, good. Middle Creek down only six. And the 
Foul from behind. Number five, Ashley Schink. First shot is no good. Second shot good. Balls can be tied up. Possession arrow points to the Mustangs. Swing to Ali. Wide open for three. No good, tries to use a backboard on that. Fast break opportunity. And a blocking foul is gonna be called on McCrimmon. One of the charge there. Second shot good for Panther Creek. And offensive foul called. McCrimmon stepping in, getting an offensive foul. Another men's basketball update. We have Athens Drive beating Apex High School 43 to 35 at the end of the third. And also at the end of the third, we have Lee County up by one against Gary, 47 to 46. Backcourt violation on the Mustangs. The referee's going to say it was tipped. So Middle Creek will have the ball once again. And this call is really getting the fans into it. It's the loudest it's been. Ali for three, no good. Out of bounds off Kimmy Pittman trying to save it.
three-pointer, no good. Over the back called in Panther Creek, number 12. Substitutions for Middle Creek, number 10, Betsy Dewar, number 15, Sydney Smith. Check in for Ashley Schink and Kimmy Pittman. Middle Creek breaking the full court press. Pass foot goes out of bounds. Giving her back to the catamounts. Air ball by number 30 goes out of bounds. Middle Creek down six. Sydney Smith, the jump shot, good. <laughs> Panther Creek's gonna take a timeout. And so are we, we're gonna take a quick break. You're watching Sports Talk, we'll be right back. We're back. Middle Creek down 43 to 39. Call's definitely going Middle Creek's way right now. And another charge by McCrimmons. And just what the Mustangs needed. Travel called on Betsy Dewar. Five second call on Panther Creek, giving it back to the Mustangs. Three and a half minutes left to go. Middle Creek down four. Coming works the ball down low and a foul is called on number 30. Her third. Coming's first 
shot is good. Second shot is good. Meadow Creek still just down four. And a late whistle. Betsy Dora is going to get called for a foul. And that's her fifth. Check in for Door. And I think that was a really good decision by Coach Petty to put Ashley out there. We've got McCrimmon, Miller, Ali, and Shink, all great scores. Free throw, no good, rebounded by Ali. Mustangs work the ball around. Ali with the open three-pointer. No good, loose ball. Turnover. Mid Middle Creek really needs to capitalize right here as McCrimmon spots up for three. Looks good, just a little short. Good defense by Ayan Ali. Creek looks to push up the floor. Sydney Smith down low. Shot no good. Middle Creek really needed to score there. Yet another turnover. Ali for three, it's good! Nothing but net. Middle Creek cuts it to one. The timeout taken by Panther Creek. Middle Creek is all fired up. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back for the end of the game. Back with a minute left in the game. Middle Creek down one. Ayana Ali hitting a big three for the Mustangs. They need to stay content. And number 15, gets, Sydney Smith gets called for the foul. You know, not a bad foul to take. Number 25 hasn't been great from the line tonight. Uh, Middle Creek only down one, so even with a uh, one made free throw, you know, they can still come back. And that's five on Sydney Smith, so Pittman will check in for her. But still, you know, not a bad trade off. Pittman for Smith, great bodies down low.
First shot is good. Second shot, good. Middle Creek down three with 50 seconds left. Middle Creek looking for an open pass. I'm gonna take a timeout. So we're gonna take another break. We'll be right back. You're watching the Sports Walk. back with 40 seconds left Middle Creek down three coming out of the timeout you can only assume coach Petty's drawing a play up for either Shink or Ali five second call And now the choice for the Mustangs is who are you going to foul? Steal by McCrimmon. Goes up for a layup. No good. Miller puts it back up. And one. And one. Let's go. Foul by Pittman. You're going to expect to hear a lot of noise from the Mustang crowd. First shot good. Second shot good, keeping the Catamounts up three. With 12 seconds left, Middle Creek takes a timeout. So we're gonna take another break. We'll be right back for a very exciting ending. back with 12 seconds left. Middle Creek 
once again down three. You know, at this point, your only chance is to take a three-pointer. So we'll see who the ball goes to. Ali gets it, steps back. Shot no good. It's going to go out of bounds to the Catamounts with eight seconds left. And a timeout taken by Panther Creek. So we have full timeouts. So we're going to take another quick break. Be right back. back eight seconds left in the game Middle Creek definitely has to foul on the inbound it's 0.7 seconds tick off the clock not too much number 31 for the Catamounts back to the line Middle Creek over the 10 team foul mark so from now on, any foul will be two shots. And that's going to make it a two possession game. Two clutch free throws, putting the Catamounts up five. Three by Ashley Schenk, no good. And at the final buzzer, had a very well hard fought battle by both teams. Panther Creek comes away with the win, 51 to 46. You know, Middle Creek, there's some learning aspects of this game. I mean, but just, you gotta come away with your head held high, fighting back. Down, uh, down by 16 at one point, fighting back, really uh, keeping their composure. Just shots didn't fall their way there at the end. Um, but, you know, very good game by both teams. So for Kevin Brunson, Matt Vetterosa, and Brian Hughes, we thanks for, for tuning in. Thanks for watching the Sports Block, and we're out. <laughs>